Andrew Myron wants to know, how do you ever suffer from maker's remorse after sending one of your creations off to a friend or client never to be seen again? Mm. There is always a little bit of that. Um, there is always a little bit of maker's remorse when something leaves your sphere. Yeah. But seriously, when you've made something, not for a client, let's see. Let's see, after sending one of your creations to a friend. Okay, you've said to a friend or a client, and those are two totally different, totally different circumstances. To a client, you've done the work for hire you've sent it off. You did your job. I feel totally fine about that relationship. I feel fine about that transaction. Like all of that is good. Uh, if it's an object I seriously, seriously wanted while I was making it for the client, I was making a second one for myself. I mean, that totally goes, that, that's totally how that works. But for a friend, the thing is, is that you do feel a little remorse because you love the thing that you made. But that is that feeling of slight remorse of like, I wish this thing didn't leave my sphere is eclipsed entirely by the fact that you're giving it to someone you love. So you infuse the thing you built with your time and your energy and your, your point of view. And it holds, it holds that, right? It's the, the object. Yeah. The object is that all of that attention you put into the thing is held by the object itself. And that is, part of what the love that you give when you give something you made away is you are, I make a point when fans bring me fan art of saying, thank you for taking the time to do this because I know that when I make something for someone, I'm thinking about them the whole time I'm making it. I'm, I'm pondering them. And, and that's part of the gift that it, time is one of the most valuable things we have to give each other. That's a great question. I mean, then there's the idea that, I was talking to Tom Sachs about selling art and he was like, it's got to hurt every time or you're not making art. Like every sculpture he sells, it is a, and he's like the way you feel. He said to me at one point, the way you feel about the Blade Runner blaster, you should be ready to sell that thing and it's going to suck and it's going to hurt. I, that is a, yeah, that's, I get what he says and that's an intense transaction. Grooster says, have you always been so good natured about your mistakes? It's something I'm constantly working on as I challenge myself. No, I am not great at making mistakes. I'm great at making mistakes on camera. I have had issues with my anger my whole life. That's something you might not have known about me. Certainly, uh, I, you know, I, I, yeah, I mean, we all have the things that we have to recover from. And uh, I can certainly get super pissed off and super frustrated by making mistakes. I am, uh, and I've shown that actually. I mean, I, I have actually revealed that on tested, on camera. I mean, I, I think I've made Reddit's watch them die inside subreddit a dozen times because there's so many videos of me realizing that I screwed something up entirely. And I'm going to have to redo it. And I mean, you know, the camera's on you. You're not going to start like stomping around like a child, but you certainly feel those emotions. You certainly feel that petulance and that. Uh, yeah. But recently over, over, over the lockdown, I have, I have, I've become a lot more forgiving. I've become a lot more forgiving of myself about the mistakes. And part of it is because I've been working so much more. I've been doing 40 or 50 hours a week in this room, more than I've ever done in my whole life. And it has been both a dream come true and every project I've done in here has kicked my ass in one way or the other. Some of them have actually caused me genuine injuries. Um, but over the course of the lockdown, the, the, the feverish pace of this and the, 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 the exercise of simply <clears throat> taking in what's going on in the world and trying to continue on and do the work that I do when things feel quite disturbed and sometimes hopeless and really bleak. Uh, all of that has caused me to have a substantively different 
relationship with with self forgiveness. I mean, that's what we're talking about. When you're talking about, are you have you always been so good natured with your mistakes? You're really, I think, asking about self forgiveness, which is the only real forgiveness there is. It's the only one that matters. You could forgive other people all day long, but until you can forgive this person, you're still going to struggle. Uh, that's. I mean, I could go on along a lot about that one, but it's a good question. Um, Clinton Anderson says, watching the watering can one day build, Mrs. Sword for Hire, I like that, uh, wondered, do you think Adam is as meticulous a gift wrapper as he is a gift maker? That is such a good question. There is a, um, yes, I love wrapping gifts. I specifically love making boxes for gifts. And so the watering can got a custom cardboard box that held it in an upright or in a, in a sideways orientation so that the spout pointed down, but it had supports inside. And I built this all on camera, except the camera shot is totally terrible. So I was thinking of it as an end credit sequence for the watering can build. And then I saw the shot and I watched the video the other day and I saw that they didn't use it. And I realized, yeah, it probably didn't scan very well. But uh, if it is usable, I will show it. And I still have the box because after I brought the box home and I gave it to my wife and I gave it to her on her birthday, which is difficult for me because I always want to give birthday presents early. I, I cannot wait. I, they're like, go! Oh! Do you know that great character that Kristen Wiig plays? on? As she had a great character she played on SNL of a woman who can't stand the idea that a surprise party is about to happen. She like, go! Oh! She like gets super tense. She's like, they don't know and we know. I love that character and that's me when a birthday is about to happen and I've got a gift for you. I just, I, I'm going to give it to you early. So I often come up with five or six presents for my wife and I just put, I give her one every day for the week beforehand. Little things, you know, something on a pillow, something like that. Uh, but I kept the box. So if we don't have the video, I, I'll do a show and tell of the box I made for the watering can. Um, it, look, wrapping, wrapping gifts is weird and, and pointless and also super delightful. And there's nothing better than that anticipation while you're standing there watching someone open the thing that you got them and it landed. Hey everyone, Adam Savage here in my cave. And we are living through a completely strange moment in time. Six months ago, the entire world changed. Everyone went into lockdown and so did Tested. We became a virtual workplace almost overnight. And now I see all my colleagues almost exclusively on video chat. Um, I am shooting only on the phone. I know the sound quality has gotten worse. Norm, Joey, and Gunther are all editing from home. And maybe the biggest change is output. We have radically increased the number of videos that we make because, well, that's what I'm doing all week long here is just shooting everything on my phone. And eventually the world will return to normal, but one of the things we wanna keep up is the pace of videos that we've been releasing. We've been ecstatic about your feedback about this and we wanna keep it going, but in order to, we need to ask for your direct support. And so I'm here today to announce Tested Channel Membership. If you're not interested in becoming a member, that's fine. Tested is not going to change for you. You still get all the same great one day builds, tool tips, the podcast, et cetera. But if you are willing to join, we've got some pretty cool extras and two levels at which to join. For $1.99 a month, we have our supporter level. And for $9.99 a month, our patron level, which includes all the stuff from the supporter level and some live streams, some direct access to me and the Tested team, and some sneak peeks into our entire Tested workflow and process. We are so excited about the new possibilities that channel membership opens up. And we know that many of you have been supporting us all along as Tested Premium members. And to you, I say thank you. Your support has meant everything. And you can keep it going by hitting our brand new join button somewhere on this screen. Thank you guys for watching. And between you and me, I am most excited by the live streams. I really loved doing those earlier this summer and I can't wait to pick it up again.